also different ways to add parentheses right so guys in this question we need to calculate what are total different different values that we can get from a given string if we add parentheses in different ways what i mean to say is see let's say let's say this is the string which is given to us and what we need to do is we need to find uh what are different values that we can get if we if we add different different ways different valid ways of parentheses in the string so let's say if this was our string so if we add parentheses like this right so uh, what we will get we will get 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so we'll get 0 right but let's say if we add parentheses like this so in this case 2 minus 1 minus 1 is 0 and 2 minus 0 is 0 sorry 2 minus 0 is 2 so we will get 2 so we can get 0 as well as 2 from this string right the only difference is the way we we, we add the valid parentheses right so this is the question right this is the question we need to calculate what all different values we can get from a given string but the thing is we just need to uh, add different ways of parentheses right similarly similarly for this this test case this test case uh, uh, if you if you see here uh, for this test case if we add parentheses like this so we'll get minus 34 if we add parentheses like this then we'll get minus 14 if we add parentheses like this this and we'll get minus 10 and if we add parentheses like this then we'll get 10 so we need to return all these five values right so this is what we need to return we can return this uh, values in the form of a list right so this is the question right this is the question so now the thing is how we will solve this question to solve this question uh, i'm going to show you a dynamic of sorry a divide and conquer uh, approach or simply you can say the recursive approach to solve this problem right so what we will do we will take this test case we will take this test case to understand the algorithm right okay fine so let's say we are taking this right we are taking this test case here okay don't confuse by this tree so basically what we are doing here we are breaking our problem into two sub problem uh, whenever we get a operator right one more thing is given in the question that we can get a number uh, like between 0 to 9 or we can get multiply operator or minus operator and plus operator addition operator right so this is the only thing that we can get in our string right so fine okay so now now see how we will solve this question using a simple recursion i should i should say right so so see if i will divide uh, my problem uh, with this multiply first multiply operator then see what i am saying if i will divide it like this then i am saying okay uh, i am going to break my a string or a my problem like this first i'll uh, solve this then i'll solve this remaining string right so this is how uh, i am going to uh, divide my string okay so so left left uh, left string will come here and right string will come here now again see if i I'll, I'll break my string from this negative this negative operator then i'm saying that okay i'm i will solve this this left string uh in smaller part and this side string another smaller part right again see if we again uh, divide this by this this negative operator then we'll come to this node right so from this node we can say if we divide it from this uh, multiply operator so we'll say we'll solve this left problem with smaller problem and this with another smaller problem okay see so till now till now from here to here what we are saying we are saying that we will solve two separately and this this bigger problem separately now at this note at this note what we are saying 
okay we will solve this separately and this bigger problem separately or this uh, problem separately not a bigger problem actually uh, the, uh, another problem separately and what we are saying here we will solve this here and here and since now uh, we are getting a leaf node uh, there is no operator present so we will uh, come back from the pre or from our recursion right so uh, if you talk about this expression if you talk about this expression then what you are getting here you are getting 4 into 5 is 20 20 minus 3 is uh, minus 17 and minus 17 into 2 that is this 2 is minus 34 right so you are getting minus 34 and let me also show you here so let me change the color of this pen so from this you are getting 20 and from this negative you are subtracting your 20 with uh, this 3 so you are getting minus 17 and from this multiply operator you are getting into 2 minus 34 so you are getting minus 34 here right okay so this case this case is nothing this case is nothing but uh, let me show it here this one right this one so we easily got this this answer fine so we will add this uh, in our array list right we will add this in our array list now let me clear this okay fine so see we have divided our problem like this now we are breaking it with this now instead of breaking uh, our problem to negative operator if we break our problem to this uh, multiply operator then see how we will do we will break it like this we will say we will uh, solve this separately and this separately now we will come to this node so we will say we will solve this separately and this separately right and since they are there is no operator left so we will return from there so what I am saying here is, see, we are saying two, we will solve two separately and we will multiply and solve this separately. And here what we are saying, we are saying we will solve three minus four separately and we will solve further problem separately, right? Okay, and further problem is actually five. And here what we are saying, we will solve three and four separately. So this, so what we get from this? So, 3 minus 4 is minus 1, into 5 is uh, minus 5, and into 2 is minus 1. So, we will get minus 10, right? So, this is nothing, this is nothing, but let me show it here. Actually, this is, I think, this case, right? This case, right? So, this is what we are doing. We will check all the possible possibilities, and we will get all the possible valid answers from the given string right so i think let me show you uh, like if we break from this then one solution could be we can get from this branch one solution we can get from this branch one solution we can get from this branch and one solution we can get from this branch and one solution we can get sorry sorry one solution from this and another one from this this five will be included in both this branch so in total we will get five different solution and actually actually we are getting these five different solutions right so this is the algorithm uh, to solve this problem now let me share the code of this problem so you guys can understand how how we we'll write the code for this algorithm right how we will actually break our problem this is the uh, like uh, biggest problem this might be the biggest problem for you right okay so let's just come here so uh, this is our function different ways to compute and this is uh, the return type of this function right return type is nothing but a simple array list uh, where we will return the uh, values we will get from different combinations different valid combinations of uh, parentheses right so uh, what we will do first well, we will create a result a result array list which will return finally right and now see see here here right okay so here what we are saying that okay 
iterate over we are just iterating over our string right if the character present at ith location of our string is a operator whether it could be negative i mean minus operator positive plus operator or multiply operator so if the uh, character present at ith position is a, a operator then what we will do we will break it we will break our string into two string right so this is our input string we will break it into a and b right so let's say 2 into 3 minus 5 plus 10 this was the string and we currently got this this operator so we'll break it like this our a should be 2 and our b should be 3 minus 5 plus 10 right so this is how we will break our problem okay so now what we are doing simply we are recursively checking for our left smaller problem and similarly we are checking for our right smaller problem right so this is the recursion or you can say divide and conquer approach right now now once once we reached when we reached the last uh, last node which is last known leaf node uh, that i have showed you where we have just two operators and one operand in between the the operators operand sorry right so in that case in that case what we are saying if it is a negative operator if it is a negative operator then subtract the operand accordingly if it is a positive operator then subtract and add the and add uh, the value to our result right as similarly for multiply approach right so for all this let me show it here so for all this final answer will be minus 34 minus 14 minus 10 minus 10 and 10 this will this we will get in this res array list right so at finally at finally we will return this res array list right so if if there is no operator present in that case we should return our input string so this is what we are handling in this if statement otherwise we will simply return this res array list or res list right so this is the code of this problem right hope you guys understood now this problem thank you so much for watching